another episode on how do you cook back to basics. Have you been searching on the internet and YouTube and all you want to know how to do is make a simple biscuit, but you're intimidated and really don't know where to start? Well, this is the video for you. This recipe only calls for two ingredients and is the easiest recipe for any beginner around. So you can't mess this one up, y'all. So stick around if you wanna learn how to do this, y'all. First thing you'll wanna do is grab yourself some um, vegetable shortening, put it all in your pan and have it ready to go once you get your um, biscuits together. Just making sure I have a whole lot of uh, shortening in the bottom and the sides of that pan right here. Okay, we're gonna set that over to the side. Okay, so you can probably see here that I have um, my mixing bowl and I have a little strainer. I am gonna sift my flour through this strainer now you don't have to do this if you don't want. If you sift your flour through a strainer similar to this one, your biscuits will be super light and fluffy. Okay, so this recipe calls for two cups of sifted flour. See, there's my one cup, and I'm gonna put that in my sifter. And then I'm just gonna dab it just like this, and let it go through there. It's gonna get rid of any clumps that is in your flour. Do it this way, or you can just do it that way, or you can just move it around like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my second cup of flour. Now you don't wanna pack this down or anything, so here is my second cup of flour. And so I'm just gonna dab it on the sides, try to get all those clumps out of there. Okay, as you can see, there they are. Those are the big clumps that you do not want in your biscuits. This is the flour that you're gonna have. It's super light and super fluffy. This recipe calls for one and a half cups of whipping cream. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour all of that in here at once because I know this is exactly how much uh, whipping cream that I'm gonna use. So now we're gonna get to mixing. We're just gonna start mixing it all together with your hands. and just incorporate all of the flour and that whipping cream all together. Now, we'll tell you, it's gonna be sticky. It's gonna be super sticky, y'all. <laughs> See, it's stuck on my hands. And we still have some dry flour on the bottom. So I'm gonna try to get some of this off and try to get that uh, dry flour that's on the bottom here. Okay, y'all, so this is a really big ball of dough. It's still super sticky, which is, which is what you want. It's okay for it to be sticky. I'll be right back, hold on. We now have our wax paper, and I'm gonna get a little bit of flour and just put it on there. Kind of spread it out a little bit. And now, You'll want maybe a tad bit more flour. Just put it on the top so you can actually grab your dough. Okay, so this is what your dough looks like. It's not gonna be perfect and it's still sticky. So now what you wanna do is just kind of move it around a little bit and kind of work it. If you can see, I'm kind of folding it to little sections. Just trying to work it together so it's not as sticky. So I think this is good enough for me to start cutting out. Okay, so we have our pan right here and we're ready. We have our biscuit dough. Now you don't have to have a rolling pin to um, do biscuits. You can just smash 
your biscuit dough down until it's to your desired thickness. I like mine to be about a half inch to an inch thick because I like my biscuits to rise really well. Okay, so you're just gonna get a little cup or something. You don't have to have a biscuit cutter and you just uh, do it like that. Just cut them out. Okay. It's that simple. Just use a cup. Okay, so I am going to put my biscuits in my little container here, and I want them to be touching each other. So you, you want to make sure there's plenty of room in your pan here to take up all of those biscuits, because we're gonna be making more. We're gonna use up every bit of this dough. See, see how I'm just moving everything around and making sure there's plenty of room. So you'll just want to get that dough. It's a little bit stuck right here, so I'm gonna put a tad bit more flour. See y'all, this is the simplest biscuit <laughs> I think anybody can make. You wanna, if you don't wanna be intimidated on making biscuits, this is super easy. There is. There is no wrong way to make this type of biscuit. Now you'll want to use every bit of this biscuit dough. You don't want to waste it. Let's see. See, I'm in a little bit of a predicament here. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make two small biscuits. And I'm just gonna slightly roll them in my hand to try to make them um, as even as I possibly can. And I'm gonna try to squeeze some of this out. I'm gonna put that in there just like that. I'm gonna make a little bit more space. Now you can use any type of um, dish to cook your biscuits in. I'm just going to squeeze that one down in there and you'll see how they rise. So this is what they look like before I put them in the oven. But before we do that, we're going to put an egg wash on top because it gives it a, a beautiful golden brown on the top of your biscuits. And it just looks so good after they're finished cooking. Okie dokie. Okay, y'all, we're putting these biscuits in the oven. I have my oven set to 450 degrees. Now I'm just gonna let that cook. I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes, but um, it's I know it's gonna take longer than that, so um, I will let you know how long it took to cook in my oven. Be back in a minute, y'all. It's taste test time, but before we taste this fluffy biscuit, oh my goodness, look at that. It's just so flaky and nice and golden brown on the top and the bottom. I'm gonna put some butter on these on both sides and just let it melt down into that biscuit. The moment of truth. Are you ready? I know I am, y'all. This is gonna be good. Mm-mm-mm. Here we go. Oh my goodness. This is the best two ingredient biscuit I think I've ever eaten. Mm. Mm. If you wanna make biscuits for your family and you want a simple, easy recipe that's no fail, but you're just beginning making biscuits, then this is the recipe for you. They are so delicious and so fluffy. Y'all, let me tell you about this biscuit. This is the 
best two ingredient biscuit I have ever put in my mouth. And this goes great with butter and honey or butter and jam. Um, you can put sausage gravy, milk gravy, whatever you prefer on your biscuit. You can make sausage, egg and cheese um, biscuits, you know, for breakfast or uh, bacon, egg and cheese. It, the sky's the limit on what you want to eat with your biscuits. Well, y'all, that wraps up this episode on how do you cook back to basics. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and please do consider subscribing to this channel. And don't forget to hit that bell notification because you don't want to miss out on what I have coming up. Till next time, bye-bye.